Okay, so we're here at the ID Tech Show in Berlin with KaiTech, who are sharing some of their solutions around uh, smart textiles and uh, their boots. So perhaps you could introduce and show us what you're demonstrating today. Okay, it is, uh, it is better to uh, introduce uh, our smart textronics center. Textronics means textile electronics. It is a, it's a, a kind of a cooperation center between Germany and um, Korea. We are working together with ETA. We are working together with ETA. Our uh, company, uh, KeyTech, is a research institute in, in Korea, basically funded by government. They uh, need uh, some cooperation between Germany and Korea. They uh, started build uh, this center since 2017. Yeah, we are working in this area, including smart textile and also smart fibers. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, I'll, I'll introduce uh, some uh, information about our uh, R&D. And uh, we uh, co-work together with uh, uh, Korea's Songgyeonggwan University. Uh, they uh, want to develop the basic material from fibers and the fabrics uh, with uh, some coating materials to improve the performance of smart textile product. Yeah. There are some examples here, so we'll see so the strain sensor up here, uh, yeah, different yeah. Um, so silver on a net here. Sort of this strain. is just a demonstration. You can see it's a very new material made with the silver and argillate together. Okay. Yeah. They can have an electrical conductivity for replacing copper and other uh -huh. sure. Sure, and then some. These are some electrodes for ECG measurements. Yeah, um, this is, temperature sensing. Uh, different other different types of conductor on different uh, substrates. Yeah, we can use the uh, general textile technology to make uh, some electrode. Yeah. Uh, we use uh, embroidery technology and sewing technology, knitting technology for making some electrical devices using this. Mm -hmm. Sure. This is another uh, case of application. First one, the garment. It is a Korean uh, auto company want to develop the heat emitting garment for the cold uses, like a winter time. They want to uh, maintain a temperature body during the activity in uh, winter season. Also, there is some um, request from the home furniture company. They want to make a smart sofa. Yeah, they can measure the uh, vital signal during um, the stay under the chair. This is just an example of the, how to input uh, the electrical device in the textile product, a lady and uh, some others. Great. Okay, so the next one we're looking at, so... This is yeah. a, a, a several sensing. kinds of pressure sensor. How to incorporate uh, the pressure sensing device in the textile fabric, and uh, we can design the different for the application, each application, like a okay. foot, so that would be your foot down okay. on it, pressure down on it? Pressure. Yeah. Oh, I see. So you can, different areas. Different area, up. different pressure. There's a different color of light. Like that. Oh, I see. Right. Also, this is uh, uh, for the chairs. Yeah. We can, uh, we can measure the posture during the staring in the chair. Yeah. The same as you can use it in the floor mat and the okay. bedding products. Very good. Okay, so we have what, what about this up here? This is um, lighting in textiles, yeah. Um, really, the, 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 for the uh, night rider, oh, uh, they, they need to combine the LED on the, the back side of the jacket. Mm -hmm. And there's a, just an example, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, very good. How about in here then? So, so yeah, this is a, 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 the four years R and D yeah, right. for developing a band to measure vital signal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the this is a prototype. This is the first time. Yeah. And you can do it in a skin patch format here. I see, I see this one's for a thermometer. So this would stick on the say the skin mm -hmm. or this one, uh, and then this one is in a wristband. Yeah. I see. Alright, let's see. Very good. Okay.
it's a video show the, the uh, new uh, production equipment, uh, P game plays uh, the device, and then uh, you can see uh, uh, the PCB located on the surface of fabric and the bonded together by the heat. I see, so heat pressing it. Yeah. Great. Then that's all. Okay. Yeah. Great. And then the battery system combined together with the, this the module together to, to make a smart band. Sure. And we, Sorry. We're we working together with uh, several uh, several institutes in Korea and also company to develop a real product. Yeah. This is a, a battery. Wow. So you gain this structure to introduce flexibility yeah, into flexibility the battery. Flexibility and the stringability. And this is in a real product? Almost real product. Almost real yeah. what, In what area? Yeah, for uh, uh, making a battery with a thin like that, we can make a band underneath of there. Oh, I see. So within a wristband for a wearable, yeah. you can use this kind of flexible battery to power the device. Oh, wow. I've never seen anything like that before. That's amazing. That's very good. Okay, thank you very much for giving us a tour of the booth. Yeah, how's, you. your, how's your experience been at the show these last few days? Meeting yeah, actually, I met a lot of guys and then ladies working in these areas. Right. It, it is my first time to see the real person to work in, in this area. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, okay. so everybody said about that this is real or just a demonstration. But I think it's a, this is a demonstration stage right now, but there is a, in near future, two years or three years, we can show the, the real product to the market. Then more help to uh, maintain a business in Korea, mm -hmm. especially in textile industry. There is, uh, is a good chance for us and for our co uh, partner company, they can make a business in the near future. Great. Well, it's great to hear it, and thanks very much for taking the time Thank to do you. the video with us today.